Today, we're going to look at how to change the home page in the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge. When you first set Edge up, you have some options as to how you want the home page to look. We're going to review those, and I'll explain the differences. Right now, we see a search bar, which would be Bing Search. I see seven websites that I go to frequently. And at the very bottom, I see a heading, My Feed, Personalized, Election 2020, Coronavirus, etc. In the upper right-hand corner, I see a cogged wheel, which if I put my mouse over that, it clearly says Page Settings. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see that right now I'm in the layout called Focused. That simply means that I'm just focused on search and websites. I don't have a lot of other things going on to distract me. I can go to the option Inspirational, and now what happens is I still have the search bar, I still have my seven sites, and I have the listing at the bottom, but I have a nice image. And that image changes sometimes during the day, sometimes every day. The idea is that hopefully something in the image will inspire you. My next option is informational. Informational does this. It takes my inspirational page and squeezes it at the top and then it brings me information based on my feed. We also have a custom option. I can show the quick links. I can show the image of the day. I can turn those two things off. For instance, I turned off quick links. You see that the seven pages aren't there. I can turn off the image of the day. Basically, now we're back to an informational page. All right, so I'm going to turn those back on. Notice that it says content, content visible. That's a drop-down menu. I could get just headings. That is basically the inspirational version. I can click on content visible on scroll. If you looked at the bottom, you notice that the headings disappeared. If I scroll down, they're there. And finally, under Custom, I have Content Off. Now, I can't scroll down. There's no feed at the bottom. There's simply a search bar and seven favorite sites. Speaking of those sites, let me explain this to you. The seven sites that it shows are the sites that you visit usually most often. You can take a site, and if you put your mouse on the site, you'll see three little dots appear. If I click on those, I could rename the site or I could remove it. I'm going to remove MSN so you see what happens. It added Facebook over here on the right. Suppose I have a website that I want to add that's not listed here. I can click on the plus sign. I can give this, I'll name this 4KCC. And then I put in the URL. and click Add. Now watch the seven sites. You notice I never get more than seven sites. Facebook, which was there a minute ago, was replaced by the one I added for KCC. And of course, if I click on any of those, I go to whatever the site is. Like here's the 4KCC blog, and it takes me to the blog. That's all fine and dandy. But let's suppose now that you want a specific page. Perhaps you're an Xfinity customer and you would like to have Xfinity.com come up instead of these things that I've shown you now. The page settings icon won't help us. We have to go farther up in the upper right-hand corner to the three horizontal dots where it says settings and more. Click on that, you get a menu, scroll down to Settings again. Over in the left-hand column, click on On Startup. And here are my three options. I can open a new tab. I can continue where you left off. 
I don't really recommend that because a lot of people like myself, I sometimes leave off with 10, 12 tabs open. I really don't want to wait for all those to reload. Or you can choose a specific page or pages. I'm going to choose that option. It says I can add a new page or I can use all open tabs. Right now I don't have any open tabs, so I can't do that. I can add a new page by clicking add a new page. I can give the URL. I'm going to do the 4KCC homepage and say add. Now when Edge opens, it will open to 4KCC. So let me close it and reopen it and you'll see that it opens to 4kcc.com. You can have more than one home page. I could add another page and it will open in a new tab. So let's do that. I'm going to go to settings and settings again. And on the left, I'm going to go on startup. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to add Xfinity. Now if I close and open again, here's what happens. I get two home pages loading at the same time. I get to 4KCC, which comes up first because it was first in the list. I can also click to my next tab and there's Xfinity. A word of warning. It's not a good idea to open five, six, seven, eight pages when you open. In other words, don't have seven home pages. Once again, if you do that and you open the browser, all those pages have to check in with the server and load. That cuts down on your bandwidth. It increases the amount of time that pages can load. Two or three home pages, not bad, but I wouldn't do more than that. I want to show you one other thing. By default, a lot of browsers no longer have the little house to go home. I like to have that. So I go up to the three dots, settings. I go to settings again. And on the left, I click appearance. And here I can change the theme. I can show the favorites bar. Show home button. I have the home button going to 4kcc.com. But you could make it anything you want, or you could just make it a new tab. Either way. I'm going to make it a new tab, since I already have 4kcc now as a home page. Let me close the browser and open one more time. And you see my two pages loading, 4kcc, and the other tab is Xfinity. If I hit the home icon, I simply get a new tab based on the way I set the page settings. That's how you can change the home page, um, how you can add the home page icon to the toolbar in the new Chromium based Microsoft Edge. Before you go, please be sure to subscribe to us. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell and choose all. That way you won't miss any of the videos that we do in the future. Thank you for viewing this video. Please feel free to pass this on to your friends and neighbors who use Windows 10.